Hey everyone, in the news this week, there is a second bungled assassination attempt on Donald Trump, this time by somebody who the government claims is a white male and a Trump supporter too, despite them having a Kamala Harris bumper sticker on the back of their truck. Rest assured though, progressives close to Biden have assured the public that the next round of candidates to do the job will be restricted to only African-American women. Of course, given the murky circumstances and the questions such as how did they know Trump was going to be there at that specific time, once more questions have been asked about the role of the supposed deep state in all of this. And if you question whether that is even a real thing, I would just remind everybody that the only part of the government that actually listens to the public is the NSA. Former Harrods owner and Princess Diana conspiracist Mohammed Al Fayed was exposed for assaulting numerous women over his decades of power, and the BBC were just very glad to report it wasn't one of their people being accused this time. Although, as always, it says a lot that they took over a year to report on it, with all the women being told to be quiet and sit on the sidelines. One lesser known fact about Al Fayed was that he owned a large estate in Easter Ross, Scotland, and was quite a supporter of independence, once stating, quote, I am ready to be your president. So presumably if the vote had gone the other way back in 2014, he could have been in power and yet another Scottish leader being arrested by the police if he wasn't already dead. And talk about death, Israel orchestrated a staggering operation leading to the death and injury of thousands of Hezbollah operatives after they breached a supply chain and placed explosives into all the pages that the terrorists used to communicate with each other. I looked for a quote, but Hezbollah's head of communication was unavailable for comment, obviously. It's a scary old game, the espionage one, though. I was once told to not tell secrets in the garden because the potatoes have eyes, the corn has ears, and the beanstalk... Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.